when you grow up here and you lived here all your life, this is where, this is where we come. You'll have the president of the Chamber of Commerce and the president of the Phoenix. You'll have teachers, doctors, state employees, etc. Pretty much everybody congregates here. You'll only be a stranger here but once. Augie's pretty much is the gathering spot for uh, people who grew up here. And for a lot of us, uh, we like to say that we're products of uh, public housing, public education, and public service. Grew up in a little federal housing project called Mayberry Village. He's never forgotten his roots, and he's always been an advocate and a fighter for the little guy and the, uh, the average person, the middle class people. People come out of Mayberry Village, they got the guts, the stomach, and they're stand-up people, and there's a stand-up guy. Well, I grew up here all my life, and uh, I have three beautiful children. They all went through public schools here. They all had an outstanding education and uh, we've been very blessed by that. He's always, always been involved in Pratt & Whitney and businesses within this town, within his congressional district. He gets it, he really understands it because he's lived it. In Washington, there's a whole Washington speak. They don't spend enough time talking to real people with real concerns. That's, that's what you get here. He's probably the most connected congressman that I know of. When he's not in Congress, he's home. And he's, and he's talking to people, he's going to, you know, I've seen him at the UConn basketball games and football games. John's just a, just a normal guy, you know, he comes from the, from the town, he, uh, he gauges a lot of his, his perceptions, brings him to Washington from being a local guy, so he's listening to what we're saying. You know, you get an unvarnished uh, opinion and point of view from people here. Generally in our conversations, veterans issues come up. And the one thing I know for sure about the congressman, he gets it. He's constantly focusing on Made in America, and uh, you know he's he's definitely focused on small small business and the employees. This is real. Uh, this is people who are going through everyday struggles uh, and who have everyday concerns. My biggest concern for veterans today is the homelessness. The child is more than a test score. To keep jobs in Connecticut. That's what the job should be about: is reaching out and helping people. He's a people person, and it's sincere and it's honest. He hasn't changed at all. He's, he's the same John that we've known for the last uh, you know, 20, 25 years. He has a genuine concern about people. Where the eagle flies, which is what my father would say about Pratt Whitney, he'd say, Dad, what are you doing? He says, got to keep the eagle flying. And now, uh, not only does the eagle fly there, but the huskies play here. So we say it's where the eagle flies and the huskies are on the prowl. East Hartford, Connecticut.